Today, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad up to your electronic keyboard and record tracks on GarageBand. As you can see, this is a full-size electronic keyboard. Most of the new ones have USB capabilities, and this is a USB cable standard like you would see on a printer, and sometimes they do come with the keyboards. It's plugged into the back of the keyboard through the USB port. Here is the Camera Connect by Apple. You take this unit and plug it into the USB cable like so. And then that goes into your iPad. We're gonna start with GarageBand. As you see, I've circled it in the red on the top left of the screen there. That's the app you wanna go into. And once you're in there, you're gonna see a plus sign at the top right, click that. That starts a new file. And you're gonna click the keyboard or any instrument you want by swiping left or right. And as you can see, you can hear that I'm playing the piano hooked up to the iPad. It's reaching through and recognizing that. So you can click the top left grid where the piano key is up there, click it again, and it takes you back to the screen where you actually have the instrument that you're gonna be playing, and that's the keyboard. So you can also click that keyboard there in the middle and go through different instruments. You can choose from so many different types. You can also play them back later as different instruments even if you've already recorded and now we're going to check out the plus sign on the top right and you'll see song sections you can do as many bars as you want or even go into automatic mode which goes unlimited i'm going to do just eight bars on this one and i'm going to go back see there i'm switching through to show you you can change the different ones go back and then hit the settings button and i can go from everything from the tempo the speed of the song I can go down to the time signatures and also key signatures from major to minor. I'm gonna be in C major on this one, so everything's relative to that. You can also do a fade out at the end of the song if you wanna hear everything just professionally fade out. Now we're going back to the instrument itself and we're gonna record a sample of some notes and chords, just something real simple. Three, two, one, here we go. And then I'm gonna hit the stop button once I'm done here, and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like by hitting that top left uh, third on the option there, third from the right. You see that's the keyboard and what I just recorded in MIDI file, according to GarageBand. And then I'm gonna show you how I can actually go into more detail and edit what I recorded by double tapping on that. You will see edit, click that, and it shows you each individual note that you hit. You can even micro line them up or quantize yourself, as they say and you can move each note into position according to the grid. That way you have perfection if you're looking for perfection. Sometimes we don't go for that, but in this case, we are gonna make it look like we're trying to be perfect on that last chord. Go back and play it again, you'll hear it. Voila, lined up perfectly. And so, you see the keyboard, I can change it there to a different sound, same recording, but different sounding instrument. Just an FYI, I clicked the middle screen where it had a picture of the keyboard. See there, I'm changing it back to grand piano. That's as simple as it goes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial in under four minutes. Thank you for watching.